against some pretty good teams, however. And they've won two of those three games. De Silva, that ball was knocked for a moment by Ellaby, but De Silva with strong hands held on. Yes. Gets you on his backside and twisted the basket. He's just a good inside-outside player. Chaz Kuntz beats Jones and gets the foul. The basket counts. Craziest thing. A lot of people that say they don't have superstitions are superstitious. What? The Silva inside-outside combination. Turnover for the Cougs. Washington State already turning the ball over more than they normally do. And De Silva scores. Bills. Ellaby's hurting. He's got a big grimace on his face as he finally rises and jogs up the floor. Terry hits a three, and Kyle Smith needs a timeout. Very deceptive with the length of his arms and his timing. The whole game now. Terry feeling it. Wow. Boy, those two guys, De Silva and Terry, combined for two points in the first half against Washington. They have all of Stanford's 12 so far. I think those two would stack up with anybody else's duo across the board. Pollard on the nice find from Isaac Bonton. Welcome to Pullman Regional, the hospital, about five minutes away from the arena. De Silva up top has to catch it from Terry and then is able to gather and score. They Even a two-man, but he's playing 4-5 here, and he's just too big for the... Look at him, Cougs, he's too big right over the top. Right at DJ Rodman, who just came into the game. Five of six shooting. Jones running free to the rack for the dunk. Just the eighth two-point field goal of the year for Spencer Jones. Who's Let's go, Dave! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just too big inside. He's just too big. They, that's too, they got to get an answer to that, whether they go to the three-point, because Washington State's really not defending him away from that. And they're just getting whatever they want at the basket, so they're not having... To, of, of those guys, nobody's a difference maker, but that's a nice inside dish right there. Isaac White's got to make that. Absolutely, that's all. They force it down. Most people, a lot of people in college basketball are doing that. Rapp knocks it a three. The freshman who's seen his minutes climb. But thus far, guy, I mean, he's rebounding the ball. He's playing way bigger than that 6'9". He has 15 points. Well, they're sharing the ball, and Washington State has no answer for him. Dejon Davis and C.J. Ellaby both seem to be fine after that hard tumble. Here's Noah Williams with the dunk on the find from Ellaby. They finally scored the ball. Let's we'll see how Stanford reacts against that zone. James Keefe, who played well off the bench the other night, is in. And this time, Wills is able to complete the dunk. Pollard's been working on that three, but Keefe doesn't let him get open. See, he's forcing it down. The weak side help is there. Good no call right there. Stayed into double figures. James Keefe did a really nice job the other night on the offensive glass. Boom. Count that. Of course, Stanford has been at home. It's a little bit more difficult to do all this stuff on the road. But... Oh, yeah. Kasunas. Yeah. Kyle Smith back in the Bay Area where he coached most recently with USF, the University of San Francisco, for three years. Exactly right, because they've got a two-on-one if you got it. Isaac, no. Oh, he wants a three. Here's a good pull-up pass. Oh, it's all going down for Stanford. A 41-point first half so far. <laughs> I didn't look at their contract. Terry, oh, what a move. Henson, a deep three-pointer. He banks it in. That gets a fist pump from Kyle Smith for the Cougs. He's got to feel like a lot hasn't gone their way in the shot that they have talked about, worked on to execute. High ball screen with the shooter in the corner. Wills. Kasunas. Wow. That sort of is. <laughs> Maybe this is the year. He had a great first half with 15. He gets it inside to Bryce Wills. Tenth turnover of the afternoon for Washington State. Here's Jones. That's his first three of the day. A smile as he breaks through. That's just what Washington State didn't need. If you were Kyle Smith at halftime, as Dreve Robinson bottoms out a three-pointer. Count on to make a play out there. And right now, everybody's looking somewhere else. They're trying to avoid contact. Ball still moving around for Stanford. Is Terry a 40% three-point shooter? Dejan doesn't run through you. 
That's a foul. And it's called, and the basket counts for Isaac Bonton, his first field goal today. Now when you're up, what, 30, you don't need him. So Dallaire comes in. Terry sides to his three, and he knocks in another. Pollard seals him off. There's Dallaire from Dejon Davis. Davis, speaking of Dejon Davis, you want an offensive foul there? I did. Bonton converts. And to his credit, doesn't say a word, doesn't get his put his head down, comes out and does his. Delaire. Oh, build me a house. I think we're not. You were losing by 30. Second three of the game for Deron Henson, who had a difference. You saw Marvin Cannon sitting on the bench as Henson tries and hits another three. His third of the day. Yeah. I mean, the history goes way back. Probably Jarrett's biggest accomplishment was the fact that he was MVP of Cardinal Cage Camp when he came to camp before. <laughs> I, but, uh, you know, I tried to discourage him. It's a tough business. But, of course, when you grow up with it like he did, well, Washington State just much more capable of doing. Jones, hard drive. Creates an offensive rebound for Kasunas. It's one of the things he does best. Under 10 minutes remaining here in regulation. We'll push off. Pollard continues to work hard inside. Pretty much hangs out there. Terry fading back. I like it so much. Well, and Jared Hass has said that it's his teammates that take on Tyrell Terry's personality. As Kasunas scores. Oh, he, him and uh, Tyrell Terry might be in a long-term race to grow a beard. Terry, another three. I forget what game it was. When Washington State hosts Oregon State, a game you can see here on the Pac-12 Network at 1 Pacific, Washington State will retire Clay Thompson's number. There's CJ. Just the eighth turnover of the game for Stanford. And, of course, a three-time NBA champion here in the Bay Area. Ella B. Doesn't shoot the ball. Senior year, you couldn't let him touch it. If he got his shoulder square, it was two or three. David Limelight, he just plays basketball, and I really like that. I don't know Rocco very well, but I think I'd like him too. <laughs> That's Clay's dog. David! Added to the highlight reel, another hammer for Dejon David. You know, that's a thing he's capable of. He teases you a little bit. He's, you know, a lot of guys think he's a pro just because of the pro game being so different. Jones with a race. Leaves it for Isaac White. Balance, you're going to have a difficult time scoring. I don't care what else. And early in the season, of course, Washington's big guys who are so talented. Isaac White draws the foul on Ryan Rapp. Here we go, Sam. Shot Here right there, go. but... Oh, boy. Wills all the way to the basket. But you buy that this could be potentially a six-bit league this year? You think Absolutely. That chance exists? And I couldn't tell you who those six are either. Nice That's something that Washington State is, is not a good loss. But, but they just beat Washington? Yeah. That's Ballard. the point about the league against anybody on a given night. Well, and if your teams are good and have done the work in the non-conference, as this league has, nice finish from Keith on the find from Isaac White. <laughs> There's the oh, count it. Side for the, run. the best start since 2003 2004. Now, that team was 14 0, and that team, your team that year, started USC and UCLA going at it tonight on a singleton, so they only have one game. 42 points in the second for Washington State, but the hole just too big to overcome. And Stanford has dominated this game and the Cardinal with three home games to start Pac-12 play 3-0 for the first time in 15 years to start league action.